They're off with the straight mile stretching before them for the Edmondson Hall solicitors. Sir Henry Cecil Stakes, Imperial Emperor in the Royal Blue Restrained, leaving their stalls. Nostrum out on the right, the pink cap handy early on the left. New Endeavour also pushing the pace along the maroon and yellow. Most up sheer the grey tracks the leading pair with Embesto yellow jacket slip streaming uh, Nostrum. David Egan sitting on Ryan Moore's behind and then Imperial Emperor in the blue in behind horses and Wild Fell pulling hard black and pink at the back of the field. Completed more than two furlongs and it's Nostrum who sets the pace here going along at around about 38, 39 miles an hour. New Endeavour sitting a close second. Embesto Yellow Jacket disputing third with Mostabshire. Imperial Emperor now on the extreme left, asked to get a bit closer by Will Buick as they move through halfway. And Wildfell and John Egan in the black and pink racing in touch in rear. So Nostrum on the right, leading them down to the final three. Furlongs Moore still sitting quietly. New Endeavour still close up, though the maroon and yellow out on the left. Now being asked for more Imperial Empress, second from the left. Mostabshire is shaken up. Embesto Yellow Jacket is getting into it, ridden now as they race down into the dip. Nostrum still bowling along in front, swinging along in front. Now Moore asks him to stretch as they meet rising ground and Nostrum quickens up 40 miles an hour coming inside the furlong. Three, four, five lengths ahead. Embesto chasing but chasing shadows. We had to wait for his return but the wait was worth it. Nostrum back with a bang. Wins of Sir Henry Cecil from Embesto. New Endeavour in third. Most of Sheer back in fourth. So Michael Starris has just won the Sir Henry Cecil Stakes and a deep one at that with Nostrum and he's done so really impressively on his belated seasonal debut. Was that everything you'd hoped to see? Yes, I mean, you know, he, he was working very well but he, he'd been off for nine months and it looked a competitive field. So we weren't confident of winning, but we knew he'd run very well. But he was most impressive. I was he, thrilled with him. He really was. What was the reason that we haven't seen him until now? Oh, it, it was a, he, he, he knocked a hind leg. Knocked a hind leg. And was that point. timing rather than anything else? Well, he, he needed a little time, yeah, to yeah. get, get the, um, the infection out and get him moving again, yeah. And so how long have you been happy with him in his work? Um, over the last three weeks, we've been happy because it's been progressive improvement. You know? And what did Ryan just say there? Um, he liked him. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hard, hard not to like that performance. Now, you've got some fancy entries for him. He's in the Sussex, he's in the Irish champion. Would you be more inclined to do a Baid type move and go to the thoroughbred stakes or something like that at Goodwood next? Or, would you, or are you prepared to go up in grade quite sharply? Why do you ask so many difficult questions? I, I haven't a clue yet. You know, he, he, he could go a mile and a quarter when we want. Mm -hmm. So we've got to just think about it, to be honest. But would he be ready, I suppose, to, for a step back into Group 1 company for his next start is the question. Well, he'll tell us, but on, to, on today's evidence, you'd think he is. OK, so you might be inclined to go big? I don't know. I don't know. And might get windy when close to the time. <laughs> and you clearly think he's good. What's your, how, how, how good do you think he is? Oh, you have to get him death difficult today, yeah? <laughs> no, look, that's very... His two-year-old career was brimful of promise. Mm -hmm. Things didn't go quite right for him in the Dewhurst. Uh, and he's come today and he's won impressively. And we can only be very happy because he's a, he's a nice progressive horse. Very much so. Well, I look forward to seeing whatever you do with him next. Can I just quickly ask about Desert Crown? W yes. When are we likely to see him? Is he headed for the I King George? He's back in, he, he, we don't know if we'll get him ready in time. Um, he's back in fast work. So we'll decide closer to the time. A little bit touchy, tight, I mean, not touchy, a bit tight. tight in time but, he, but he's back in fast work. Okay. And Baybridge, where are we going to see him next? Um, when we get some ground, I don't want him on fast ground, you know? So we'll have to, be, have to wait for that. Michael, thank you very much. Many congratulations thank to this you. exciting horse. <laughs> Well, after a performance like that from Nostrum, we had to talk to Barry Martin from Judmont. Worth waiting for, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so. Look, we've never made any uh, bones about the fact that we think he's a very, very good horse. And, you know, we were obviously a little frustrated at the start of the season. But, you know, it wasn't anything major and we knew we'd get back to the races. So uh, it's just nice to see him go and do what he done today.
Had you been hoping that he might be back a little bit quicker than it actually turned out? Look, uh, you know, as I said the other day, he was pro he probably could have been back for Ascot, but uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunities. You know, it was either go straight into deep end at St James's, and you know we had Caldean for that, so it just made more sense to wait a little bit longer and come here. And this is springboard him for the second half of the season. So he's obviously done that pretty well today, and hopefully we can stay on the right line for the rest of the season. Very much so, because looking at that race, it's, it's, it looks to me like the strongest edition I've seen for some time. Yeah, look, it's been won by some good horses. I remember coming here a couple of years ago and meeting Baid, and um, you know it's been a good race. And it looked a deep renewal. You know, the, the Godolphin horse looked good, and Rogers looked a smart horse. So I think it, it was a pretty tight race, and you know the way our lad quickened up and went away from them, you'd have to be hopeful that he's going to be a top class horse. Now, I was trying to get where Michael might want to go next, um, and I thought he might be inclined to do a Baid type move, i.e. to go to the thoroughbred stakes, but it sounds like he might be more inclined to roll the big dice and go straight back up into Group 1 company. What would you like to do? Look, I, I didn't get to interview him. If you couldn't get an answer out of him, I have no chance, <laughs> but he's in everything. He's in the Sussex, he's in you know the Lennox, he's in a couple of races in France. We'll see how he comes out of this, and maybe next week we'll make a decision. But hopefully sooner rather than later we'll get back into Group 1 company. And Michael was also saying that in time he'll go up in trip as well. I mean, he's bred to get at least 10. Yeah, Michael was saying that, you know, he pretty confident he'd stay 10 and Ryan thought the same. But, uh, you know, he looked com comfortable at the mile today, so we'll see where we go from there. Oh, he's excited. It'd be great to see him in the Sussex, wouldn't it? Great to see him. It would be lovely to see him. And look, it's great to win, you know, the special race, being the Henry, Ce Henry Cecil's race, it's very special for the Abdullah family to win it. So that makes it a little bit more poignant today. Looking ahead to tomorrow and Coppice in the Falmouth, what are you thinking about her? Look, she's a lovely filly. It's a big, big jump in class from a handicap and Royal Ascot to Group 1. Um, you know, we had classic aspirations at the start of the year and she just didn't, didn't come in time. She won well the last day. Um, we're looking forward to tomorrow. It's a big jump. Not so sure we, you know, if, we're, if we're going to be competitive, but we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, well, very best of luck. It would be great to have uh, an excellent double like that, but I think Nostrum's performance was tremendous today, so well done. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.